Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how can we delete multiple data at the same time with delete data animated effect. In one of our video tutorial in which we have used checkbox for delete multiple data using PHP with Ajax. So here also we will use HTML field checkbox for delete multiple MYSQL data using PHP with Ajax but here we will make animated effect on particular row. Which has been removed with animated effect, so user can know that particular row of data has been removed from list of multiple row, for this things we will use PHP script, Ajax, jQuery, and MYSQL database. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database and in this we have one employee table, in this table we have already inserted some data. We will fetch data from this employee table, and display on web page in tabular for with delete button, and check box in each row for select particular row of data want to remove. This is our working folder, and here we have three PHP file like database connection.php, delete.php and index.php. First we open index.php file and in this file we have already included jQuery, and bootstrap library link. Now first we want to fetch data from employee table, and display here, so first we have make table with 6 table column like name, address, gender, designation and age. In first column we want to make delete button, so here we have write button type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to delete all, by click on this button all checkbox selected data will be deleted using PHP script with Ajax. Now we have start write PHP code. So first we have to database connection.php file for make database connection, and here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new to class object. Under this first we have write mysql host set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection we have again go to index page, and here we have include statement with database connection.php file name, it will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from employee table order by ID in descending order. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will run select query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result which has been stored under this dollar result variable. Now here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write echo statement with one table row and six blank table data tag. In first table data tag we want to display checkbox for select particular row, 
so here we have write input type is equal to checkbox, class is equal to delete checkbox, and value is equal to dollar row ID variable. In second table data tag we want to print name details, so here we have write dollar row name variable. In third table data tag we want to display address details, so here we have write dollar row address variable. In fourth table data tag we want to print gender details of employee, so here we have write dollar row gender variable. In fifth table data tag we want to display designation details, so here we have write dollar row designation variable. In last table data tag we want to print age details, so here we have write dollar row age variable, this way it will print all employee details on web page in table format with checkbox. After this here we have make one remove row style sheet class, and under this we have set background color property to red color, and color property set to white color. Now we have start write jQuery code on when we have check any checkbox then that row background color and color must be change. So here we have write dollar with checkbox class delete checkbox with click event, so when we have check any checkbox then this block of code will execute. Under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with is method, and under this we have write double colon checked. This condition will be true if particular checkbox has been checked, and if not checked then it will execute else block of code. Suppose above condition true then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar this with closest method, and under this method we have write table row tag. By using this method we can set then property of closest table row tag of the checkbox, so here we have again write add class method, and under this method we have write remove row class. By using this add class method, it will add this remove row class to closest table row tag. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block we have write dollar this with closest method, and under this method we have write table row tag. After this we have write remove class method with remove row class, this method will remove this class from checkbox closest table row tag. Now friends check this output in browser. Friends here we can see when page has been load into browser, then we can see employee data in table format with checkbox and delete button. Now we have check particular row checkbox, after select of checkbox, that row background color and color has been changed, so here our code working and by using this user can understand this row data has been selected for delete. Now we have go to index page for delete all selected row of data by single click with animated effect, so here we have write dollar with delete button id delete all with click event, so when we have click on delete button, this block of code will execute. Under this block we have write variable checkbox variable is equal to dollar with checkbox class delete checkbox double colon checked, 
Here we have store property of all check check box under this check box variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write check box variable dot length method value greater than zero, if this condition true then it will execute if block, otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose above condition false then it will execute else block and under this block we have write alert statement with message like select at least one records, so this message will pop up when user has not selected any checkbox. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write checkbox value variable is equal to array, under this variable we will store value of selected checkbox. For this we have write dollar with checkbox variable with each method, by using this we can fetch value of selected checkbox from this checkbox variable. Under this we have write checkbox value variable dot push method, and under this method we have write dollar this with value method. Here we have store particular checkbox value under this checkbox value variable using this push method. Once all selected checkbox value under this checkbox value variable, so now we have start write ajax request, so in first option we have write url set to delete.php. Here we have send request to this page, in second option we have write method which has been set to post, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data, and under this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have defined checkbox value variable data has been sent to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully. Under this function we have write dollar with remove row class with fade out method, and under this method we have write 1500, this method will remove those table row whose class was remove row, so selected row will be removed with animated effect. Now we have go delete.php file, and here we have write include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on web page. Below this we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post checkbox value variable, if this variable value has been set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write for loop and under condition we have write dollar count variable value is equal to zero, dollar count variable value less than count function dollar post checkbox value variable and dollar count variable value increment by one so this loop will continue execute still this dollar count variable value less than total item in dollar post checkbox value variable under this loop we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from employee table where id is equal to dollar post checkbox value variable with dollar count variable index Below this delete query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, this method will make query for execution. And for execute delete query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute delete query and remove selected row of data from MySQL database. Now check output in browser. 
Friends first we have to refresh web page, after refresh of web page selected row color and background color has been come to its original format. Now we have directly click on delete button without selecting any row of data, then we have received alert message like select at least data. So, now again we have select some row of data, after selecting row by check check boxes, then that row background color and font color has been changed which we can view on web page. For remove selected row of data, we click on delete button, after click on delete button then on web page we can see selected row of data has been removed with animated effect which we can see on web page. Now we have refresh web page, that selected row of data has been removed, so here our code is working, how to delete or remove multiple data using checkbox with PHP script and Ajax with animated effect. By using this feature user can understand which row data has been removed, so by accidentally remove some other data by mistake. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.